kind of contention here is that Gandhism has become romantic and utopian. Of course, it's a moral ideal. Of course, it's something that we all aspire for. But but non-violent satyagraha, these are irrelevant in modern 21st century. But whereas Ambedkar with, you know, educate, organize, agitate, these are more real, modern prescriptions suited <coughs> to our times. I would like to bring in again the global context. You speak of Mayavati and Kanchi Ram as inheritors of Ambedkar's legacy. Who are the inheritors of Gandhi's legacies? Dr. Martin Luther King, Vaslav Havel, Lek Valenza, Aung San Suu Kyi, Nelson Mandela, and the Bishop, uh, uh, Archbishop Tutu, the Dalai Lama. The list goes on and on and on and on. So I think both are living philosophies in different contexts. And for God's sake, let us not make the mistake of opposing them, of bashing the heads against one another. Yeah, I, I, I would, I, in fact, I told you, if, if, I, this, I would agree, agree on this point. We, it would be absolutely wrong to compare Gandhi and Ambedkar because they have a number of similarities. I would say both were deeply rooted but in religious But we're trying to assess the companies. relative uh, no, strength of their even, legacies. Even, 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 you know, you know, what we call their legacies. It is not Ambedkar's legacy or Gandhi's legacy, but both of them had, again I would stress, had taken a leave out of their own master's legacy. Mm -hmm. Therefore, in fact, there is a speech where Ambedkar has praised we're not talking about, we're talking about the relationship Krishna between them. We're not talking about the relationship between them. I want, again, I want to bring uh, Chandrabhan in here. There, there is an argument that says that you know Gandhism is, is, is he's, Gandhi's become like Sri Sri Ravi Shankar in today's times. He's a ideal, he's Munna Bhai, he's made, there's a film made about him. Whereas Ambedkar remains a much more serious politically mobilizing force. Is that see, your argument? See, Gandhi is a, uh, uh, has been an institutional liability. The entire nation has been promoting Gandhi for past 60 years. Ambedkar is a non-institutional person and as we uh, get to know each other more, mm -hmm. internationally, Ambedkar will be more relevant than Gandhi because okay. Gandhi, Gandhi practiced Hinduism, Ambedkar practiced Buddhism. So Buddhism is a world religion, Hinduism is a local religion. Okay, right, but that's a <laughs> controversial point to take a break on that all this time Ambedkar hasn't become as well known as he, as he should have been because not much is known about him. But we'll come back to that with all our panelists in a very short while. Stay with us. या कानूनी अधिकार मिले हैं ये देश या गांधी नेहरू या अन्य किसी और परिवार की नहीं है बल्कि ये देश अकेले परम पूज्य बाबा साहब डॉक्टर अंबेडकर की है